Hello everyone, uh, this is Abdul again and in this video uh, I'll be going through the uh, Ubuntu desktop installation on the ESXi uh, server. So if you would like to know how to install the VMware ESXi, um, please refer to the VMware ESXi installation video that I have already on my uh, YouTube channel. So uh, let's get started with the Ubuntu installation. So first of all, um, the the uh, the image for the or the ISO image for Ubuntu desktop, you'll find it on the Ubuntu uh, official website. I'll put this link in the description. So um, the latest version uh, now is the so when you go on the main page to downloads, you'd see Ubuntu server and other ones. So you will uh, for for this video I'll be installing the Ubuntu desktop. So this is the latest version. Uh, Go ahead and do download. I've already downloaded the image. Now I'll go to the VMware and I will create a new uh, VM and create a new virtual machine. I'll go ahead and name it Ubuntu. Oops. Let me put the U capital Ubuntu. And it's the 6.7 ESXi that I have. The uh, guest. OS family is Linux, and I will go ahead and select Ubuntu Linux 64-bit. I'll go ahead and do next, and I'll be installing. I have one data store on my SXI, so I'll be installing it on that uh, data store. Now it's asking you for customized settings, so you'll have to um, customize your memory disk setting. So if we go to the Ubuntu website, it's asking you the minimum is 4 gig of memory, 25, uh, 3 gig of hard drive. So um, this is the minimum uh, uh, system requirement. So for me, I'm not going to be doing a lot on the Ubuntu, uh, but I'm thinking I would need maybe like uh, 50 gig on the Ubuntu machine and then I will also assign uh, 4 um, gig of uh, memory uh, actually I'll do it 6 and 2 CPU um, the network adapter is based on your setting for me the main one is the LAN port group and then I don't have a DVD uh, disk for the image, so I'll go ahead and do data store ISO file. I've already uploaded the Ubuntu um, ISO file after downloading downloading it from the website. So uh, you can just go ahead and do upload here and select the image that you downloaded. And uh, I'm gonna be selecting the Ubuntu here. So I've assigned 50 gigabyte and six um, gigabyte of RAM. Uh, you can always modify that for sure later. So I'll go ahead and do next. I don't need to review the setting. It's completed. So I'll do finish. Now I'll wait for this. Um, looks like it's successfully created. So I'll go ahead and run the Ubuntu machine. And just wait for it to uh, spin up and get powered on. All right, so now the um, Ubuntu machine is up and running. Uh, it will show you um, installation uh, GUI page. So I'll go ahead and do install Ubuntu. And then I'll just use uh, English, but uh, you can still add um, extra keyboards if you would like so this is just a test so I'll just go ahead and select only English and do uh, continue it's just taking um, a bit time here okay here you go so now it's um, asking you would you like to install normal installation or minimum installation uh, it, the difference is like this one minimal installation just have web browser basic utilities. This one would have 
um, office uh, software, media players. So I would like to go with that. I don't want to download updates while installing Ubuntu. So I'll uncheck that. But um, if you'd like, you can definitely go ahead and download updates while installation, uh, installing Ubuntu. But I can do an uh, update later. Uh, I'll go ahead and do continue. And it's taken a minute again. Uh, actually, less than a minute. <laughs> so um, here you go. Now it's asking you if you want to erase the whole disk and install Ubuntu, which will uh, erase all the disk content, uh, or if you want to create your own partition. So um, for me, like for our case, um, I would like to go and do the partitioning myself. Um, Though I can still also go ahead and erase and install the Ubuntu, the disk assigned to the Ubuntu, because I don't have anything on the disk. Sometimes you might have some stuff on the disk that you don't want to, either another operating system or some other things, and you don't want to install the or erase the whole disk. Uh, so for me, I'll go ahead and uh, create my own partitions. I'll do continue. Now, for me, I'm just going to go ahead and create two partition, the swap and the root. Now, you'd be wondering what if you don't know about the swap. The swap is, uh, so the, the, the um, virtual memory, uh, so the memory of the virtual machine you have here, which is the Omento machine, it's a combination of the physical RAM that you have and the swap. So the total amount of memory for the... Um, for the virtual machine, it's a combination of both the RAM, physical RAM that you have in the swap. So, whenever the system is running an application and there is not enough memory uh, for that application or software, uh, the swap uh, use is going to come handy because uh, the swap mem the swap. Uh, memory is going to be used uh, if in case your physical memory got full. So it's always um, there are different recommendation uh, if you have a RAM size of 2 to 8 gig it's recommended to have a swap size that is equivalent to the RAM size. So if you have RAM from 2 to 8 it's good to have a swap uh, depending on what your RAM is. Uh, for me, I put it 6 gig, so I'll also assign to the swap 6 gig. Um, for uh, RAM size 8 gig and, and higher, um, it's recommended to assign a swap that is half the size of the RAM. All right, And also it depends on how much disk space that you have because this disk space that you're going to assign to the swap it's going to be uh, untouchable so that it's going to be separate for the swap uh, all right so now i'll go ahead and then create a new partition table continue uh, i'm gonna use six gig for the swap uh, because, as I mentioned earlier, my memory is, is uh, 6 gig primary. I'll do OK. Uh, I'll use the rest of the space for the root, which include all the files. You might need to have a home file. If in case, uh, so for me, it's just for testing. If in case you want to keep personal files, personal documents um, in a separate disk space than the root space, which is your, um, and the Ubuntu uh, includes all, all the directories for the Ubuntu. Um, you might want to keep a separate home just if in case ha anything happened to your um, uh, Ubuntu machine, you would still have your own personal files in a home directory. Um, so, 
for me I'm just using it for testing so I'm just gonna use old space for the home so I'll go ahead and assign the rest of the space to I'll do primary and then I'll assign the rest of it to the root I'll do okay now I'll go ahead and do install now and so the following uh, partition will be formatted the one that I created that's fine I'm just gonna go ahead and do continue and we'll wait until oh, actually it's selecting uh, it's asking you to select the time now so yes I'm in Toronto time zone go ahead and do continue I have to put my name um, so Abdul virtual machine pick a name Abdul password and require password at the login I'm just gonna go ahead and do continue and now it's just gonna take a bit of time for the installation so it might take a couple of uh, minutes for the uh, installation of Ubuntu uh, I'll get back to you guys once the um, installation is all done so now it says the installation is completed you'll need to restart we'll do restart now so after clicking uh, enter for that page that showed up and system booted here is your username showing up that you configured you will use the password and the Ubuntu is here and ready so the installation was uh, pretty easy and straightforward um, the part that um, where you configure your own partitions uh, it depends on what's your uh, requirement but the main two partitions that you need to use would be the um, root partition which include everything uh, uh, the, the systems and also the swap which would be the uh, comes handy along with the memory and as we mentioned that the swap memory if it was or the uh, ROM if it was from 2 to 8 the swap memory is recommended to be the same as the uh, ROM memory and if the ROM was 8 and above the swap memory is recommended to be the swap size is recommended to be half the size of the uh, ROM so I hope that video was useful for you guys um, we've come to the end of the video um, and uh, thanks for um, viewing please uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the video and if you like the content of this uh, channel and press the thumbs up button um, thanks guys for watching the video and you have a good one